Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Computer History Museum and OpenStack Silicon Valley 2014. Good to have you all here. I hope everybody's had a chance to uh, take part in uh, this morning's breakfast. My name is David Fishman. I'm the marketing guy. I'll be here to give you simple instructions, like the bathrooms. Has everyone found them? The ladies' room is the one without the line. Otherwise, it's my pleasure to introduce our first speaker, chairman and co-founder of Mirantis, member of the OpenStack Foundation, and my boss, Alex Friedland. Thank you, David. Good morning, everybody. Nice turnout for 9 o'clock huh, in Silicon Valley. <laughs> OK, well, it's a bit early. Well, it's an all-day event, but thank you for uh, coming here so early and um, um, joining the um, first of hopefully many OpenStack Silicon Valley community events. Um, on behalf of um, uh, my colleagues from Mirantis, who I know worked very, very hard to, you know, to get this event together, I, I want to thank um, all the sponsors. Um, I'm really happy that the turnout is great, the sponsors are wonderful, and uh, um, really all the insiders of um, OpenStack, especially Silicon Valley insiders, are here with us supporting this event. Thank you very much for that. Um, well, there is one notable exception to the sponsors list. Some very important OpenStack company is not here, so I'm hoping that as this event gets larger and the community continues to grow, we'll welcome them uh, to the next one. But uh, there are some uh, participants from that important uh, player who will join us here in many technical tracks. So um, this is um, the fourth year of OpenStack. And I'm very happy to see the, you know, a lot of familiar faces, people who have been with us in this journey from, you know, for all the four years. And I see a lot of new faces, people who are discovering OpenStack and learning about it and trying to decide what is it that we can do with OpenStack. And as I was kind of thinking through as, you know, someone who um, been at it since almost the very beginning, not quite, but almost from the very beginning, I'm noticing a, um, qualitative change that's happening with OpenStack and the community this time around. So kind of just around year four. And this is the first time, you know, I kind of noticed it in Atlanta, but this is the first time that I'm seeing that we no longer have to prove that OpenStack will be around, that OpenStack will win the um, open cloud game. We just kind of suddenly we woke up one day and we realized that it's a fact of life. OpenStack is here to stay. OpenStack is going to be the open cloud uh, platform of the future. Now, that being said, uh, there are still many unknowns, but the unknowns are different. The questions that suddenly we have to ask ourselves is, what will OpenStack look like when it really matures, uh, that we know that it will, will be here? Who will be the large players who will make it large and successful, and ultimately, how will it be used by different groups, by enterprises, by service providers, by all, um, you know, customers who will actually, you know, take advantage of OpenStack. So, what I call it internally, you know, amongst friends is, you know, it's a beaten term, but we're entering OpenStack uh, 2.0. So, OpenStack 2.0 uh, is upon us, and so this event here is about OpenStack 2.0. So what are the trends that we're going to be discussing today and really for months and years to come? One is now that we're in the 2.0 territory, we're going to see a lot of deals that will be happening. And the, the landscape of the OpenStack world and is going to change. We already see some huge companies committing themselves to OpenStack at massive scale. We'll see. Uh, we, uh, we saw some smaller players exit the scene, and I guess there'll be a guessing game for the next few, you know, six months as to who the new mergers and new uh, M&A deals that will happen in this industry, and I think this is something that we're going to be watching in the next few months. Uh, beyond that, uh, the question will be what will, you know, the usage patterns be? So. Um, um, the one we know so much about is it's all about agility and management. Um, and um, 
We're going to have a keynote that Jonathan will deliver that will talk about um, how it's necessary to have the software-defined economy to be able to manage change faster and faster, which is really what OpenStack is enabling here as well. Um, the innovation factory. Um, we've seen um, how OpenStack is wonderful for innovation. We saw some wonderful innovative technologies just appear out of nowhere and get into mainstream by using the open, the openness of OpenStack as the channel to get to market. I mean, uh, some of you here know exactly what I'm talking about if you're in a storage space, and that's just one example. And with, with open cloud, the innovation is defined by the innovator. And finally, the enterprises and the customers are liberated to use the most innovative products, you know, that integrate into OpenStack. There are no gates, finally. So this is very, very important to make sure that you can be very efficient and you can change efficiently, which is, which is a, you know, uh, a necessity for scale. Um, the next trend that we're going to be discussing today and this is the community. OpenStack is one of the largest community on record and probably uh, in the four years it's been in existence, the community that we build about it and the foundation, um, we're now at least as large as Linux and um, probably will you know, have a chance to grow um, even more. This happened four years is an unheard of amount of time. It happened so quickly compared to 20 plus years that we've been around with Linux. And, uh, um, how do you manage a community of this size that will continue to grow as rapidly? We're truly in uncharted waters and we're writing a book on how to manage a community properly and how to govern and the like. And uh, my um, colleague and uh, uh, the board director, um, Randy Bias, will talk about uh, things that are happening in the community and some of the challenges that we have to face. Um, um, our own Adrian Eonel, the CEO of Mirantis, will speak about different business models and how you uh, leverage agility and, um, and innovation, you know, to, to scale and to take this to the next level. That's a talk that Adrian will have. Um, and of course, as always, there'll be many, many tracks on different technology trends, you know, on... Um, um, on, on agility and deployment, on networking and the like, and as it's been customary for all the uh, uh, OpenStack tra uh, tracks, there will be a training track for those of you who want to learn more about OpenStack and its internals. So, and last but not least, as is always customary in all the OpenStack community events, there will be a party when we're done, and the party will mean a lot of music, and of course, free alcohol for all. So that's a tradition. So it's going to be a long day, a busy day, and hopefully a fun-filled day. 